L'Oréal is championing beauty tech thanks to AI, because AI allows us to digest the century-long database of L'Oréal. We are a 114 years old company, so we have a gold mine of data uh, on ingredients, on formulation, on consumer routine, on skin, on hair, and we digest all those data and we leverage it through AI to come to the utmost unmet uh, uh, experiences for, uh, for beauty. So AI, for example, is powering this uh, uh, diagnosis, it's powering virtual trial, it's also powering with hundreds of algorithms across the, the board, everything related to new devices of augmented beauty. So it allows to come to the utmost uh, unequal precision of beauty for beauty for each in the infinite diversity and desire of each and everyone. So AI is powering beauty tech. Dave, how are you thinking about AI disruption? Oh, well, you know, I think that the beauty of tomorrow is going to be augmented with technology. And so AI is an ability for us to be able to bring new experiences and services to our consumers. Like one of our new projects, Shoe Brow, which is this um, product that you can just automatically shape your brow looking with physical technology and digital technology so that you can augment your hands to achieve results you could never do before. So I think AI is really a piece of that technology that allows us to augment the beauty experience. When it comes to some of the scanning technology around skincare and hair care, that's where the AI seems to be deployed. How useful is this for the consumer? For consumer, I mean, it's extraordinary because before it was more the, the moment of universalization, meaning we had one solution or one service for everybody. As of today, thanks to AI, we can personalize very precisely your biology, the biology of your skin, the biology of your hair, but also the exposure you have been into in terms of pollution, in terms of allergen, in terms of UV rays, your ways of living. So it's possible for us to really integrate and combine all those data to strengths to AI and then to have a dialogue with you as a unique person you are. Even for a mass market brand like L'Oreal, this is sounding very bespoke. Absolutely. That's, not a, that's the good of tech today. I'm a tech optimist, you know, because uh, today tech allows not to have those type of services for, you know, the premium ultra rich people on earth. Te uh, tech is really democratic. Tech allows now to power each and everyone, wherever you are in the, on the planet, to get access to those services. Let me share with you one example, for example. The QR code looks very simple. QR code is an entry door and always dialogue with each and every one and you can circulate into all the information from the sourcing of the ingredient, from tutos, to services, to diagnose, to coach your beauty in a very, let's say, non-costly but very precise and sur mesure uh, manner. And these diagnoses will actually allow you to have a long-term relationship powered by data with consumers. Like today, when I go to buy a product, I check my skin tone, I check my skin, I get one, I come back again, I don't have the previous data, the previous information. So what we're trying to do by building the best algorithms in the world is allow everybody a journey with their data and diagnostic that continues to improve and become smarter over time throughout their life.